Is my food better than my mom? Absolutely not, absolutely not. Uh, food is about memories. I can never compete with the memories I have with eating my mom's food. The good, the bad, the middle, the everything. Food says a lot about the culture. My mom always expressed her love through food. She was very stoic, uh, but you can tell if she liked you or not, depending on how, how much time she spent in the kitchen. This is one thing that I, that I learned uh, later on in life. Uh, and I wanted to explore China to my original roots through the food that they make. My father's Spanish, my mom is Chinese. I was born in Taiwan, but was raised in Mexico. Culturally, I, ate up, uh, I, I was brought up eating Chinese food with the Mexican ingredients, which in my mind made sense when I was growing up because this is Chinese food, right? This is, this is what it is. Um, I came to China, it makes no sense. I was always trying to find what I, what I wanted to do. After I, I left Mexico and, and went to my parents' home and I actually broke the news, I remember sitting down at the, at the table and said, oh, okay guys, so yeah, it's been a while, I haven't seen you. Just, uh, I decided to move here because uh, I, I was planning to go to um, culinary school. I want to become a chef. There is a misconception um, and there's a mismatch between Chinese food and, and Western food. In Chinese food, everybody expects the executive chef to be cooking every single dish. But if you go into most top Western restaurants, the executive chef is no longer the one cooking your food. We're more of a, a, the person who leads the idea and the identity of the food in a restaurant. I think the interesting part about China is the ingredients. Not being able to find Italian or Spanish tomato. Yeah, I get that, but that's a challenge, isn't it? Uh, what would it serve the world for me to cook the same ingredient in the same way, uh, just in a different part of the world? A chef or a cook should cook what they have around them. You should still make people smile with your food, regardless of the ingredients. It, it, it's about how you change the ingredients, it's not about the ingredients itself. I'm trying to introduce something that I genuinely like about their food into the, my, my kitchen and my way of seeing food. So we, we incorporate like the, the red tofu into butter because uh, we went to eat it, uh, with the red tofu in manto. The, the, day I, the day I ate it, it's like, to me, we're like, no, this is just, this is bread and butter. So we tried to bridge the gap because then we, uh, I, I mixed that tofu with butter and then we put it with bread. So both Westerners know what bread and butter means and then uh, Beijingers know that uh, it, it is the same but kind of in, into a middle ground. Everything uh, that is surrounding food, to me, is a memory to my diners. The food is a complement to good company, uh, to a good moment. I can enhance a good memory. If you're sitting down with somebody you like, you're having a good time, my food is there to put the little touches, the little accents, the, the, the little, um, to fill the conversation gaps between a wonderful night between you and the person you're with. <laughs> 